Hey everyone, talking about Anti Blues by Pierre Guillaume. This is a really rich, like chocolatey leather tobacco type of scent. The notes in it are dark chocolate, saffron, grapefruit, incense, resin, amaris, cacao wood, hay, tobacco, vetiver, leather, and vanilla. So when I see chocolate, especially dark chocolate in a fragrance, I don't usually think it's gonna be for me. I love chocolate as in the food. I love chocolate the smell if it's like, oh, you know, fresh chocolate chip cookies baking or something like that. But in fragrance for me, it tends to go one of two directions. One, really sweet cloud and much more feminine leaning than my taste. And I like smelling those on other people. So it's not even that I dislike that, but it's just, I don't want that all day in my face. It's just too much. And it's just not my thing to wear. Two, dark chocolate with patchouli that there's like a patchouli kind that has a sort of chocolateish tilt to it as well and i really don't like it gets so bitter and like rootsy and earthy almost and i don't like that one either this avoids both of those routes oh, so good and manages to actually be a really masculine suave take on chocolate and then this is what i get more than anything out of it is chocolate of course leather and tobacco and in the opening it's just this like burst of really delicious like sexy chocolate in a masculine way again not super sweet or cloying but there's definitely enough sweetness that it's very like nice chocolate yeah just so pleasant um and the grapefruit and stuff i don't really noticeably pick that up but there's like a slight freshness to it that lifts it which is really nice the saffron just kind of goes with the leather to me the incense adds this like cool smoky vibe to it on the test strip it definitely smells different than on my skin which is the case for a lot of stuff but not always on my skin it gets a lot more like tobacco-y and earthy which i don't like as much on the test strip Ooh, yeah it's just like the perfect combination so my skin tends to bring out earthier notes like that so you might not have that same experience but even then, it's really nice. And it's just, if it smelled exactly like it did on the test strip on my skin, this might even be full bottle worthy for me. Yeah, the vetiver's not the usual kind. It's a very, like, much more of a cold kind. I think it might be maybe the hay working with the tobacco, too, to kind of give it a little bit more of an earthy vibe. But it also adds this, like, biscuity vibe to it. So it's almost like a chocolate biscuit at times. But again, it's never going to be your typical gourmand that's just over-the-top sweet or smells cheap or anything like that. This is basically a gourmand for people who don't normally like gourmands or who are looking for a more masculine take that isn't just centered around like boozy notes or patchouli style chocolate. So good. It's somewhat linear, but not in a bad way at all to me. Uh, I would say maybe just like it's a little bit more of the vanilla-y side of it as it dries down. But of course the chocolate is always there and mixing with the leather and vetiver and just really suave and just nice. I'm, I'm impressed by this. The best chocolate scent I've ever smelled thus far in terms of what I like to wear at least and in terms of it not going one of the two routes I mentioned earlier. I will put a link in the description where you can check out a bottle or a sample. I believe this is around 140 to 150 for a 50 mil. I think that's fair because this is just so rich and like Wow, and this would definitely be more of a cold weather scent. This is not an everyday type of thing. This is like date night, nice event, something like that where you wanna be, not nice event in terms of professional or anything like that, even in the cold, but more like sexy than that sort of. So yeah, highly recommended if you like the idea of chocolate and leather and tobacco type of stuff. I don't even like tobacco normally, but here the way it's done is not like someone just unraveled a cigar or fresh picked a bunch of dirty tobacco and put it in front of you or something. It's just smooth all the way. So yeah, check it out.